So we chose dislocations and migrations because it's a hot topic in public discourse right now. We have all kinds of conversations about immigration and borders and people crossing borders and, and things of that matter. And so we wanted something that would attract the general public attention. With that in mind, a faculty group that I organized called Cultures of the Americas was invited to help out with the Helmberg Center for American Research's annual symposium. So we gathered a group of about a dozen or so people and kicked around a number of ideas and we came up with dislocations of migrations as one that would both meet our interests in crossing disciplinary boundaries but also having something that speaks to our contemporary circumstances. So, so no one discipline owns really this question of dislocations and migrations. We all look at it very differently. Historians look at migrations through documents, but visual artists are represented in their painting and other kinds of ways. Musicians are interested in it. Poets are interested in it. We all, the people who are interested in psychology and think about trauma are interested in dislocations or migrations or can at least speak to it. So the idea was that we wanted people bringing their own interests to this broad topic and we want them to mix and ch exchange ideas. We find that the most intriguing conversations involve uh, people from different disciplines with their own research interests coming together and speaking about these broad topics in a, uh, a conversation. The symposium is organized to promote the further integration of uh, Gilcrease and TU faculty. We have this partnership in place, and the idea here was to empower faculty member and faculty members and Gilcrease and uh, um, Helmerk Center staff to build this symposium. So what we've done is we have a series of panels and panel chairs are in charge of the content and the uh, structure of each of the panels and we operate uh, here at the Helmerk Center as sort of an executive director. So it's a very decentralized approach that essentially turns or a symposium organizing inside out. Oftentimes when we organize symposium we have a small group of people who decide everything, who the speakers are, how the conference is to be organized and what we did did here is we turned it around and we went to faculty members at TU and uh, staff at HCAR and Gilcrease and said how do you want to approach this and so they came back to us with ideas and we and then we assemble them after that so it's a it's a decentralized democratic uh, way of looking at conference organizing. Culture of the Americas is a faculty-driven research and teaching initiative that is organized hemispherically and cross-disciplinary. Uh, it is the, the idea here is that, that um, scholars from multiple disciplines look at um, questions of uh, borders and immigration and migration, but they do so in a hemispheric fashion. And so the idea here was to organize faculty members from multiple departments around a framework that would help us work together devise classes, uh, work on research together, and it's also a framework that speaks directly to some of the collecting strengths at the, at the Gilcrease and at McFarland Library. So one of the strengths that we have here at the Helmerk Center for American Research is that we have documents uh, spanning the, uh, the history and culture of, of the Western Hemisphere from Spanish colonial documents all the way into the 20th century. McFarland Library has a similar sweep to their collection, so our idea was to create a new structure that allows faculty members to work together but uh, around these collections and really envisions what would make uh, this kind of interdisciplinary study special and unique to Tulsa. And so this is, a, this is an approach that speaks to the, the collecting strengths and the faculty strengths that we have here.